Okay, in this video, we're going to go over something called special right triangles. And specifically, we're going to go over the triangle that's known as a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Now, let's talk a little bit about right, or just about triangles in general, any kind of right triangle. Now, we know that there, uh, there is a, th a theorem called the Pythagorean theorem that says that a squared plus b squared will equal c squared, where the c is the hypotenuse of the triangle, and the a squared and the b squared are the legs of the triangle, right? So let me just put that in there like that. And we know that in any right triangle you have a 90 degree angle, right? So this is a special right triangle. It's the 45, 45, 90. And it's special because it shows up quite a bit in mathematics, especially like in a unit circle and that sort of thing. Now, this particular Pythagorean theorem still works for the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. But actually, you, you don't even have to go through this whole Pythagorean theorem to actually get the lengths of the sides of a 45, 45, 90. Let me show you why. So let's go over here. <clears throat> now, if this is a 45 degree triangle, and this is 40, excuse me, it's 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle, then this is the 90. That means that directly opposite the 45 degrees, we could call that like the A that we would use in the Pythagorean theorem, right? Which means the hypotenuse is the C, and if this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees, that means that instead of B, this would also be the length A. That means that these two lengths, these two legs, would be exactly the same length, right? So let's apply the Pythagorean theorem to this, and I'll show you what happens. If we square this side, square this side, the sum of that should equal to the square of that side. So here's what we have. We have a squared, but now instead of b squared, we're going to have a squared again because they're the same length, and it's going to be equal to c squared, right? So now we have an a squared plus an a squared. On this side, we actually have two a squared, again, equal to c squared. We are going to take the square root of both sides, right? So here's our step one. Here's our step two. Let's go to step three. Let's take the square root of both sides. And that's going to give us the square root of two times the square root of a squared. And the square root of c squared is just c, right? And Finally, let's go over here. The square root of a squared is just a. Radical 2 will be equal to c. Now look what that does for our 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. We now have, let's make that a radical 2. That basically says that whatever this side is, it's going to be equal to that side. Whatever those two sides are equal to, we can put it here in front of the radical 2, and the hypotenuse will be just this side times radical 2. Okay? Now, let me show you an example of that. Let's just make another one here. All right, so let's pretend this side here is 3. According to our formula that we just came up with, if this side is 3, and again, this is a 45, 45, 90 degree, okay? There's 45 degrees, 45 degrees. If this side is 3, that means that this side is 3. If these sides are both 3, then we can put 3 in front of the radical 2, and that would be the length of the hypotenuse. Now, let's just see if that actually works using the Pythagorean theorem. We would say 3 squared plus 3 squared should be equal to the quantity 3 radical 2 
quantity squared. And let's just work this out. We're going to get 9 plus 9 will be equal to, and again, remember how you uh, multiply these. This is like saying 3 radical 3, or 3 radical 2, rather, times 3 radical 2. That gives me 3 times 3 is 9. Radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4. Over here, I'm going to get 18. Let me again just make my steps. I'm going to get radical, or I'm going to get 18. Should be equal to 9 times, remember the square root of 4 is just 2. And sure enough, 18 is equal to 18, which means that this formula, a radical 2 for the hypotenuse times a times a actually works, or excuse me, a squared plus a squared equals to a times radical 2 quantity squared. It will work every time. Let's do one more example over here. Again, let's just say I have a 45, 45, 90 again. And let's say that oh, now we have something like, let's make this side, I don't know, 10. What would be these two sides using these this particular formula, right? Well, we know that this should be just like 10 radical, excuse me, that the 10 here would be equal to the a radical 2, right? So we would just say 10 is equal to a radical 2. And we're actually going to figure out what these two sides are now, right? So then we're going to go, we're going to divide both sides by radical 2. So 10 divided by radical 2 should be equal to the side a. So that would this, that would be here, and it would be here. Now, for a lot of teachers, having a radical in the denominator is normally not acceptable. It's like, in, you know, it's not, <clears throat> it's not like correct grammar, if you want, for, for math. So what we're going to do is we're going to rationalize the denominator. And the way you, oops, sorry, that shouldn't be there like that. Let me just get rid of that radical sign. There we go. So 10 radical 2. We're going to multiply it by 1, which is radical 2 over radical 2. I can do that because that's just like multiplying by a 1, isn't it? And you can multiply side by 1 and it doesn't change anything. That's going to be equal to 10 radical 2 over radical 4. Again, it's equal to my a. We know that radical 4 is just 2. So now I have 10 radical 2 over 2. And now I can reduce 10 over 2 and come up with 5 radical 2 is my side A. Okay, so this triangle, if I just knew the hypotenuse, but I knew it was a 45, 45, 90, would be 10, and this would be 5 radical 2, and this would be 5, whoopsie, there we go, 5 radical 2. So I'm able to solve this by knowing that this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Okay? So, in summary, just quickly, in a 45, 45, 90, hypotenuse is a radical 2, and then each of the sides would just be a. Okay, hope that was helpful.